Welcome to Let's Play Legend of Grimrock 2. I am Thornbrain. The reason we're playing this particular game, as opposed to the first one or for any other reason, is once you play this game, you don't need to play the original. It improves on everything in every possible way. How the game works is you're actually controlling four characters at once, and it's for that reason why, along with me being joined by Yoshi. Hello, hello. And Travis. Hola. We are joined for the first time by longtime friend of the team, but first time commentator, Jiggly Jacob. Hello. For the start here, I'm going to be creating my four characters, and I actually got the guys to suggest names for them, so... Our first character is a Minotaur Barbarian named Ogre Taint. You're welcome. Our third character, named Failure of a Son, he is going to be our Lizard Man Alchemist. The Alchemist is kind of broken, because we find herbs throughout the game, and normally we just stuff them in a bag and use them to create potions. The alchemist, as you walk around, the herbs will actually multiply. It's extremely broken. So not much of a failure then, huh? <laughs> oh, he finds other ways to be a failure. Oh, okay. <laughs> to be fair, Lizard Man Alchemist does sound like something else Travis would suggest. Oh, and there's another element to this. You can add your own portraits. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah! So that's the <laughs> fucking surprise. <laughs> <laughs> you could have at least got like a new picture of me. <laughs> I didn't want a new picture. And of course it's a barbecue picture of me. That's why Jacob's with us. <laughs> Mostly for that picture. But as we saw in the intro, our ship got magically turned into the rocks. Somehow we survived. We're literally four people chained together and we have to walk all together. <laughs> Normally we have to use that stick to knock the gate down. But as you can see by Yoshi's glowing hands, he can actually do magic right now. That didn't work. We're going to use the stick. You know what? In, in real life, I probably would be a Minotaur named Ogre Taint in a game like this. <laughs> you think you're better than me, don't you? <laughs> Giant turtle, throw a rock at it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Blow it the fuck up. The turtle seems confused by your actions. <laughs> so this is one of the cool first things we got to solve. We'll see it a little closer with a later enemy, but as you fight an enemy, depending on how much damage you can do, you can actually scare them and they'll run away from you. Oh shit! Oh my god! And there went the turtle. You turned him into gold dust. And you left behind some tasty turtle steaks. You know. So I mentioned eating. We'll notice all the other people have got experience, but Jacob didn't. He has to gain experience by eating. Well, leave me alone, guys. <laughs> he got way more than everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like the idea that you're chained together is kind of forcing you to walk in 90 degree angles. Like you could probably like justify why they're walking like this. Although, I'm just curious as to why they just can't break the cuffs. Tough cuffs, man. You're a minotaur, you can just break it like nothing. Hey, you know what, maybe maybe the twist is I'm the failure of the sun and I can't figure out how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> then I have fire magic, what if I just set our shit on fire? You already tried once and almost killed us, so... Okay, but... <laughs> now I have a feeling that if it, we were in this island situation, like, five minutes in, Yoshi and I are already arguing about something that doesn't require arguing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. I get the stick, because I want it. Fine, I get the bone, whatever. You get the, the worst. F I don't fucking care, because the stick is better. You obviously do, because you brought it up. What? Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm running. <laughs> this is a more clear example of an enemy getting scared of you, which sucks for this guy. <laughs> God. Along with Yoshi. Hello. And Travis. Hello. We are joined in this LP for the first time by Jiggly Jacob. Wait for it. <laughs> Wait for it. Jacob, did we lose you? By jiggly Fuck, jig. my, my, my microphone is muted because I was oh burping. My God. Hello. <laughs> All right. Good expectations. All right. We're ready to go. All right, <laughs> All right guys. Stop the video. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to transition through most of the fights because you saw how most of them go. Yeah. I'll show the first one so you can see what the enemies do. Get over here. God, he's so ready. But he doesn't really do a lot. <laughs> I feel like this is a little bit like Survivor Kids. <laughs> <laughs> We're the guy's kids, but he put us in a cage at the bottom of the boat because he was mad at us and still managed to crash it. <laughs> I love the transition of it running away, turning around to look at you in fear as it explodes. <laughs> <laughs> the combat cracks me up. I also got a scroll for a poison cloud. Yoshi is not going to be learning any earth magic because earth magic is kind of useless. 
dumb earth. Being all fucking big. Take that, Quest 64. <laughs> <laughs> we put the stick in here for the unfortunate soul who also washes up on the beach and goes, <gasps> Treasure! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but it's time for our first dungeon, Dead Sailor Cave. Okay, how are we not tumbling down the stairs? <laughs> no, they cut that up. <laughs> secret found. With another turtle we can kill to eat it. What a secret. <laughs> Jacob, you're up. Yeah. Killing turtles. As I just laugh at you, just <laughs> a turtle. Oh shit. Hey, we all leveled up. Wait a minute. That's not even biologically accurate. That's a tortoise. You got little stumpy feet. No fins. Take how long it takes me to realize there's another one biting my ass right now. Do you mean webbed toes, Jacob? Tur mm. oh. Hmm. Turtles don't have fins. I mean, like sea turtles do, but this isn't a oh, conversation hello. we're oh, going to get into. <laughs> <laughs> my brother. <laughs> you talking shit about my kind. I have webbed toes, fuck you. <laughs> Now I put a stat into Ogre Taint's heavy weapons because he's going to be primarily using those. I want as much damage I can get from those as possible. Never talk about anything you're putting into Ogre Taint. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing goes into a taint. <laughs> Yet. But eventually I'll be transitioning. I need my coffee. Somebody get me a Red Bull. It, it, him, he's just more like, oh, wait a minute, hold on. I, I gotta, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I got this. I got like two hours of sleep last night, stupid kids. Mummy children walk into the room. <laughs> Daddy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you shut up, you little tyke. More fire. Get used to the last thing you see of an enemy being him blown up by Yoshi. <laughs> That's gonna be pretty common. Stupid cricket dazzler trying to steal all the credit. I dazzle and I cricket. That is the, what I do. I'm a farmer, I just eat shit. Yeah, farmer is such a weird class, but I found ways of making him special, especially since he's a ratling. And with the mutation perk, he's increasing his stats every time he levels up. Sweet. I feel like we're trapped in a dungeon and everyone's like fighting off monsters and we look behind and the rattling is just stuffing his face full of food. And it's like, what is that? Is that a rations? Is that the last of our rations? <laughs> sure is, but good, good news, I'm level 63. Can't answer eating. <laughs> and I immediately realize there's one behind me, shit. Oh god. <laughs> oh no, we're trapped, I guess. I'm doing the wrong thing at the moment. I should be getting rid of the guy behind me because there's two in front of me, and as soon as I kill that one, the other guy's going to walk in front of me, and I'll still be trapped. So I need to get this guy out of the way so I can get out. <laughs> I have the most health. There we go. You know what? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> it just gets frustrated. I feel like with the health the way it is, with Thorn having so much less health than us, that all of us are just marching along and just dragging Thorn behind us, just collapsed <laughs> on the ground. Look, guys, I don't want to be rude, but we really need to find pants for all of you. You're all making me very uncomfortable. <laughs> You're a barbarian. I'm just wearing a shirt and shoe. Let's just keep feeding Jacob. <laughs> yeah, I just stuff into Jacob because I want him to level up as quickly as I can. Level three, bitches. Just stuffing your face with cheese with your dick out. It's like, <laughs> come on. It's terrifying. <laughs> I love being a rattling. <laughs> it ain't easy being cheesy. Actually, it is. That's why I love life. Do I want the torch? No, I don't want it. Do I want the torch? No, I don't want the torch. <laughs> fire on, fire off, fire on. <laughs> I think I'm just more excited at what other things we could feed Jacob. <laughs> How low can he go? <laughs> Here, eat this whole snake. Just fuck me <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, Yoshi, just you wait. <laughs> oh, boy. Jacob, you are officially the snake eater. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I am still in a dream. Pubert. P Pubert is in a dream. <laughs> Pubert, Pubert, Pubert. Look at him waddle. Oh, shit. <laughs> you brought his brother. Oh, no, my brother. He had a brother. <laughs> I just love the way they stride up to you like, all right, when I get over there, I'm going to do some serious flipping. This is an interesting little shrine. 
I don't know why, the, the very first thing I thought of when you entered this room is this, this would be the most uncomfortable place to masturbate. <laughs> why? Why can't we just feed the chest to Jacob? Like, <laughs> he eats it and the contents makes him stronger. I ain't a chipmunk, I'm just a pubert. <laughs> <laughs> is that like a croissant or a crunch wrap supreme? It was just bread. Oh. Just one crunch wrap supreme on this deserted island. <laughs> I say deserted, but I mean, you know, of just us. Deserted with two S's. And a Taco Bell. Somewhere. I could just break my legs jumping down there. But there is a switch on the wall. Where? Right there. Oh, there. Oh, that's clever. But if we take a step, wouldn't we all just fall with the weight? <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> Today we're exploring the rest of Twigroot Tunnels and getting plenty more of rats, knives in our ass. And the penguin from Batman. <laughs> and a leprechaun. <laughs> that sign said the nest. That's where most of the rest of the rattlings are, except for this asshole. <laughs> it looks like he just threw our knife back, like he caught it and threw it back. Like, nah, it's yours. Oh, he does a little scream. Well, so do you if you die. <laughs> You know, that's a really nihilistic way to think of it. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, we got some things we need to talk about. <laughs> I'm a fucking rat. Now, this is a pretty devious room. Next to this hole in the ground is a key. As soon as you pick it up, a bunch of enemies spawn. But what you want to do is run all the way back, kill this undead crusader, because he's blocking off that lever, which we need to pull in order to open the gate and get the hell out of here. We're missing an awful lot. There's so many enemies that we'll get overwhelmed. They're kind of stupid. They do see us, though. You notice that, that was a pair of two undead crusaders. Wait, I want that. Okay. <laughs> Telefrag! <laughs> God! Yes, you can use the wind gates to instantly kill enemies. Unfortunately, you don't get experience that way. I like how we took a nap in front of the hole, then fell in the hole as soon as we woke up. Unfortunately, we lost Pubert. No! Wait, but we left him behind? Oh, he died. Think about it, this actually isn't too bad a thing. Losing Pubert is okay because he doesn't get experience from combat, so all we're really missing is just that additional damage. <laughs> God damn, Thorn! <laughs> Give me some slack here. <laughs> if you were fucking dying, it's okay as long as we just feed him when he comes back to life. Yes, Yoshi, exactly. Oh That's God. exactly what I'm saying. I know, but it's funny. And you're just gonna have to learn to accept it, Jacob. <laughs> okay. My skeleton starts crying. I put failure of a son up front because that way I can actually punch him. And then I remembered. There's an achievement in this game to kill an enemy with pants. <laughs> it's called the Full Monty. This was a bad time for me to decide to get it. But I'm gonna do it, goddammit. One HP per pants? Yes. Jeez. I should have tenderized this guy a lot more than I did. But I did it. Yeah, 300 pairs of pants later. <laughs> I actually took off everyone's pants. We threw Pubert's pants at him too. <laughs> Let's see, here's the thing. You got four monstrosities tied up into one. They all take off their pants. One of them's dead, so they take off the pants of the dead guy and they continuously throw it at a rat until he dies. The one thing I discovered is Pubert seems to gain a lot more experience from bread than most other things. So that's what you're going to be eating for the most part. <laughs> that's so appropriate because I, I keep thinking of it as a crunch wrap from Taco Bell and like 90% <laughs> of my diet is Taco Bell. You know, I do kind of have a stomach ache that I think I need to stop eating Taco Bell. <laughs> you're going to have to learn how to cook, Jake. I don't have anywhere to cook. I have a microwave. You're going to have to get a hot plate, Jake. I got a George Foreman grill that I haven't used in months, but Grimrock. How long have you been in there? <laughs> It, it, oh, oh, I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> yes, but... How long have you gone without having a healthy meal, Jake? <laughs> I had a nice meal at Christmas. And occasionally I buy lettuce. Do you eat it? No. <laughs> I knew it. Yes, he hurt his friend. <laughs> Do they fight? Oh. Jeff, what the fuck? 
They don't fight, but projectiles will hurt other enemies. I was hoping it'd be like in Doom, where if an enemy shot another enemy, they just fight to the death. Well, they're family. They don't get that luxury. <laughs> well, I'd imagine so are the Doom enemies. Sometimes family kills each other. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> Jacob's realizing that he hasn't had a good meal in a while. <laughs> no, I just imagine, as you said that, I imagine, like, your icon fading in with, like, some inspirational text next to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my 2016 quote. If I Photoshop that, will you put it in? Maybe. Baga! Everything's coming up pubert. Dies again. It's time we actually face the trickster himself. Since he did run off this way. Okay, does any of us know card tricks? Is this your card? No. no it's mine, give it back. I haven't picked one yet. Fuck. Run away. I can't, I'm locked in. Well, only one thing to do. <laughs> the hole looks fun. <laughs> that was an easy puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> we solved it! <laughs> Not stupid. Shrine of the Glutton. I just need to throw a bunch of food at this wall. I was gonna say, all right, Puber, get in there. <laughs> yes. God. You came to the wrong neighborhood, buddy. All right, we're leaving. Bye. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Yoshi's sleepy here. <laughs> now we're ready to fucking be in the neighborhood. <laughs> oh, we got a timeout. Did you have to eat the book? We all could have got 25 health. <laughs> if we just read it. But you had to go and eat it. Because that's what you do. Listen, I'm a rat. I chew everything. I'm surprised I haven't chewed a tunnel out of here by now. You have options. There are shortcuts that don't exist. Hi, Trickster. Oh, he's getting the door for us. Now I'm going to kick his ass. Quick, fire! Or freeze. The <laughs> Trickster is kind of an annoying enemy. He's a recurring boss. He sounds really greasy, and he throws shit at us. What an asshole. I did the wrong thing. I just threw all of my bombs at him. <laughs> oh, God. Get over here. Come on, man. Obey me, oh victim. <laughs> oh, look. Your favorite. Is it on a stick? And shuriken, which is pretty sweet. Oh, damn. Don't eat this. <laughs> no, late. no, Jacob. Free experience. Go on. <laughs> Just eat an entire shuriken. There's two of them. You put it in one of my apples. All that iron, that's good for your blood. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> eat that machete while you're at it. It's useless. I already did. I already mentioned that oil yet. You, you know what? J Just eat your own pants. Pretty sure I can do that. There's another achievement for that. <laughs> Who gets the bread? Pubert, Pubert, Pubert. Give me my crunch wraps. Are you cheering him on as we shove all this food down his throat. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Cool Hand Luke, man. Come on. <laughs> can you get a hundred crunch wraps before you die? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Inside is a tome of leadership. What that does, I gave it to my character because, obviously, but <laughs> when you give it to a character, as long as that character is alive, all the other characters get a boost to their stats. Oh. And I don't usually die, so it's a good thing. Never give it to me. Exactly. <laughs> there's plenty of things in the river. There's a bunch of fish which we can catch, and that is food. And there's a ton of them. There's also turtles in there. But I want to get rid of the turtles. Pretty easy way to do that. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just fall on them. Sorry for my Mario ass. I went out of the Oh my god. Shrine of pain, you don't say. Jacob, go. <laughs> We're all chained together. Funny you say that, Yoshi. <laughs> I'll contain shove you. <laughs> Am I gonna die again? Let's find out. Nope, I did. <laughs> you ate the book. Did I? Look, look, we all eat books eventually. 
<laughs> as you s step onto a stump, listen, son. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be a very awkward situation where we're all sitting down pondering our lives and go, so uh, who wants dog meat, guys? Guys, <laughs> none for you, Rattling. You're strong enough as it is. Give me food. No, even though you're currently starving. Yeah. No, it makes him stronger if he waits more. <laughs> It makes him stronger, and I have an inferiority complex. <laughs> Yoshi, that is cruel and unusual. Bye. Right. Let us in. I don't want to explore the rest of... Okay. There's a very tiny button hidden on the wall. Can you see it? It's right there. Oh, my Ooh. God. That's like the only button on a wall with vines on it. Hopefully what you get is worth it. I was gonna say, all right, guys, like we practiced, but fuck it. Oh, good, we have a giant oven mitt. Good, we have bare hands. Oh my god, give me. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that's not a weapon. That's armor. So Jacob's just gonna be carrying that around for a while. You just have a giant berserker claw. Cool. Eventually I'll wise up and then give it to Ogre Taint. As Ogre Taint looks longingly and jealously. <laughs> I hit that lever in order to get something that's on the other side of a gate. Now wait as it slowly opens and we drown. I'm good though, so, you know. <laughs> I'm sure, yeah, yeah. I'll just fire the water. Whoa. Yay, there's illumination. Goodbye, torches. All right, guys, that's water. <laughs> now you're just doing it to show off. Look, I could dive down here all day. Come on. Uh, no, here comes. Uh, right, <laughs> I'm gonna crush you and eat you. Now my ass. It wasn't even close. This is this game's version of fishing, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And he didn't have the decency to give me anything. Wow. What a cock. What a worthless death. What a cock turtle. This is how we unlock the other secret. It's a battle arena. Ooh, boss time. <laughs> and grapes. Usually it's recommended to not come here. That's a new type of herb, black moss. We use that for two very different things. We can use them to make bombs and a resurrection potion. <laughs> Boss's time is actually a common enemy, except you get four of them. It says summon stones, but because of the low quality of the video you sent, I thought it said salmon stones. <laughs> better than silver roach. That electricity works great on stones. It actually does, because these guys have very high defense. Normal melee attacks don't do too much. I guess Gwen would have taught you that stones would just break apart the lightning, so. When you get their health relatively low, they get a lot faster and angrier. <laughs> Boy, you're hitting me all. And when you kill them, they actually drop rocks. So we'll have plenty for puzzles later. Oh, that really upset me. And I'm in a bad place. I'm in a bad place. Oh, God. Oh, Yoshi, you are on a sliver right now. <laughs> oh, so about the guy who's never dying? Oh. <laughs> As Ogre Ten and Cricket Dazzler point at your corpse and laugh. <laughs> oh, man. Is Yoshi gonna die? No. Remember how he died? That was great. <laughs> There we go. The game kind of wants you to not do that fight so soon, but I knew how to play the game. My picture's so fucking appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I hate my life. You should hate your death. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm dazzle. It's okay, Jacob. Your reward for that is a Tome of Knowledge, which instantly gives you a skill point. Good. <laughs> Too bad you can't read when you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking one of us just puts a book on the skeleton. Just puts it on its face. There you go. Here you go, Pubert. <laughs> Breaks one of his wrists. Those guys can be dangerous if you let them be. Oh, oh no, tiny rats. Oh no, children. Jesus. Don't hear that. <laughs> that scared the ass out of me. What? So, yeah, there are little packs of rats. Those guys get up underneath you and just constantly attack you. That's terrifying. It scared the ass out of you? Can someone just draw us as the races of characters that we are? That'd be amazing. That'd be really <laughs> cool, actually. I'd love to see that. Okay, so I'm the sociopath. That's not a race. <laughs> oh, God. I know what I said. 
I know, and I'm saying it was wrong. This is how conversations work. So fan now can be seen at the train. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your yogurt. <laughs> get all the back steps and you'll get an image of Jacob dying twice. <laughs> twice? <laughs> Just draw my character as a monitor wearing the Vice's uniform. Uh, mine's wearing a straw hat. Mine's a rat. And he's dead. A dead rat. <laughs> <laughs> like the one I found on my stoop the other day. Exactly. Just all these thematic things. Just like all these character things. You, you're just dead. Explains why you're jiggly. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody draws me as a rat, can they like draw me in the mouth of a giant cat who just looks very proud? If Jacob was dead, he'd be rigor mortis, Jacob. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it just looks like I got some new branding to do. <laughs> so Jacob, we love you so much is the thing. <laughs> I love you too. And that's my biggest mistake. All the dead red pictures send them to the straw head no. <laughs> no, all the dead rat pictures send them to specifically me. Just to make me sad. I'll show them, I guess. Go kill a rat for Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> all the real pictures you take of dead rats send them to Jiggly Jacob. <laughs> Jiggly Jacob at fuckmylife.com. <laughs> 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 Which is why he's dead. <laughs> oh shit, it's downloading something. No, no! Not Luigi by Ann. What the fuck? Why did I do this? Throw it away. Jacob, what is wrong with you? <laughs> did you download a Luigi? What? I went to fuckmylife.com and it downloaded something. I'm scared. <laughs> Only you, Jacob. <laughs> Only you. <laughs> this is the fuck my life virus. <laughs> I need to delete it. I need to clear my recycling bin. Sounds like you'll need to change your identity because you don't have it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> At least rigor mortis pubert is still open. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you want to send all your virus? Send it to rigor mortis pubert. <laughs> <laughs> At yahoo.com this time. Yep. Yeah, not fuckmylife.com. Thank you for accepting my pubert. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't see this. So this is an obvious trap. That's a really powerful gun, but when you pick it up... I want to get ready for this, because I know it's coming. <laughs> when you pick it up, it makes you fall asleep. You immediately get Whoa. teleported to a horde of mummies. Oh, and they're next to you, too. Great. It's all right, guys. I got it. Now, I don't think I hang on to the gun. I'm only here to kill a bunch of zombies. Even that gun isn't very good. Well, if you don't have firearms up to, like, stat 5, they're all pretty not good. Oh. I've seen people, like, I've watched a couple of playthroughs of certain parts, and it seems like if you really focus on it, the guns are pretty good, but it sounds like you have to focus specifically on it. Yeah, it takes a lot of dedication specifically to that stat. <laughs> kind of like the idea that you pick up that weapon, and they're just like, so are you going to keep the weapon after killing those mummies? No, I just wanted to slap fight mummies. Hey, Pubert, I hear you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> this is another treasure chest we're not supposed to know about for a while. The secret here, though, it's a mimic. <gasps> oh my god! I legitimately fucking jumped! <laughs> so this is pretty cool. That treasure chest is not always a mimic. There's actually an algorithm to figuring out what chests will be a mimic and what will be normally. It depends on how many treasure chests you've found up to a certain point. And then it seems like every third treasure chest or so will be a mimic. So for one, uh, I think it's kind of bullshit that it costs you a key or a lockpick to to have a mimic pop out. But two, at least killing it gives the items in the chest. Because if it didn't, that would piss me off. Oh, new enemy. Ugh. I did not see that enemy. These are the toads. They're deceptively tough. And I don't just mean they have a lot of health. It ain't easy being gross. God damn. If they're one square next to you, they can eat your weapons. Because if you notice, Pubert doesn't have a weapon anymore. Shit. Thanks for using me as an example. Uh, if they're two squares away, they just do that. Thankfully, they don't digest the weapons, so we can get them back. Oh, oh that's cool. Hey, a tongue whip. I left a scarf. <laughs> nope, they left food. 
Oh god. Pubert. I don't You're a pubert. I don't wanna eat pubert, it. Pubert. 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 I don't want to. Chug chug chug. chug. Slurp, slurp, slurp slurp slurp. The toad tongues are actually really nutritious, but they weigh a lot. So don't waste it. Because the toads are so fucking huge. Oh good, they're nutritious. Ooh, that one got him in the eye. Oh boy, we got five of them now. <laughs> pubert, pubert, pubert. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't fun anymore. <laughs> We're gonna find like a giant iguana ass and you're gonna have to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> An iguana ass and a hummingbird dick. Pubert, pubert. <laughs> it's like when you were in high school and your friends dared you eat the dead rat. I thought you were specifically going to say they dared you to eat the iguana ass. <laughs> I don't remember that, Thorn. I think that was an episode of Bob's Burgers. See, we're being kind of mean to pure because not only are we giving you these tongues to eat, but we're not even bothering to cook them. Jeez. He's been eating a bunch of dead dogs. Yeah. <laughs> And he, and he didn't ju I like how that didn't make you upset, Hubert, but eating tongues, oh no. Well, you know, you've got a point, but I think it's the way that it was worded because, like, the dog meat was d described as a steak. So if the iguana ass is also described as a sirloin, it's okay? <laughs> <laughs> iguana anus pate. Oh, that almost made it worse. <laughs> but a la ronge. Oh, hey, there's a toad. Oh, my ass. Oh, my eye. Smack its ass. Yeah, you take it, Travis. I'm just holding it for you. Just make sure it gets all <laughs> gamey. Uh, putting salt on it. I don't clean this bag. This looks like a boss arena. It's a different kind of boss arena, though. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> the boss of this is a bunch of herder spawners. Damn. And they're all spread out throughout the arena. I think only like seven, eight maybe herders will be spawned at a time. So every time you destroy one of the herders, they're just going to spawn another. But that means that there's not going to be any more in front of you as you go around. Or if anything, the amount of them is going to be somewhat limited. So just focus on finding the spawners and destroying them. Is it randomized or are they always in the same spot? They're always in the same spot. There we go. Boss finished. I like how we got poisoned, but then we just got over it. We get a pretty cool recipe, the transbuter potion. When you drink that, you turn into a bear. Oh my god. I loved how that guy was just walking around in the background for a while. <laughs> I like the fact that you were doing inventory management when it tries to hit you with poison. You're like, uh-uh, not now. And you stepped out of the way. <laughs> I saw him. <laughs> I knew what he was up to. I imagine by the end, I'm such a high level that I'm, I'm just like, your three are just normal and I'm just glowing with energy by how much I've eaten. Speaking of which. Speaking of levels. Hey. And you increased your dexterity as well. I, something that thinks really funny, Hai Wang in his single character, Farmer Rattling, he played it with dexterity. Every time he leveled it up, it would only increase like his intelligence, which did nothing for him. <laughs> but Pubert's actually cooperating. He's increasing dexterity like every time. Increasing his intelligence only made him more aware of his shortcomings. Previously, I mentioned there's actually a really good dagger in here that I'd forgotten about. Fuck the bullets. The backbiter. <laughs> that allows you to leech energy from enemies. Aw, oh, sick. So, goodbye to the Venom Fang, not using that anymore. Oh. But hey, we also get a potion of strength for you. Yes, it looks like booze. Perfect. Some point we really need Cricket Dazzler to die. Um, <laughs> no. I'm just planning this quietly, despite the fact we're all chained together and he is currently listening. But listen, guys, he's getting so full of himself and I'm tired of his shit. I don't know about you. I'm talking specifically <laughs> to Cricket Dazzler. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ogre Chain, I don't know what to say, but uh, I mean, you're the tank. Thought we were friends. Listen, I have an intelligence of four. This just seemed like the best idea. Well, I can safely say that it's not, but uh, it's really great being me, and I love myself, and I'm okay with that. Damn it, I hate that guy. I love myself. It's okay, Cricket Dazzler, I like you. <laughs> Here's some more tongues. <laughs> I like you too, Pubert, even though you digest everything that we come in contact with.
I feel like Puber is a little bit like Patrick Star on that picture where he has a huge gun. He's like, but I'll starve. <laughs> <laughs> you ate my only food. Here, Puber, you can have some of mine. I don't remember the line. Fuck, my Spongebob memory is to betraying me, fuck. <laughs> I have no intelligence. Okay, I'm recording now. I'm saying this while my microphone is muted so that nobody hears it, but Thorn is a big nerd who probably smells like a lamp. Like, not one of... Like, probably Everyone an antique sink. lamp, In but, three, you know, a really two, fancy lamp that you put on one. your desk. Sink. Sink. Stankiest lamp you ever did see. Stink lamp. Stank, right. stink, stink, stink lamp. one up. 8-1, stink lamp. Okay, I'm done. No, I don't have water stuff, but I do have this canteen that never runs out of water. Maybe we can take out this griffin with it. Maybe we can suplex Travis through the nearest table. You know how hard that would be? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Dead weight time. <laughs> Go for it. I want to introduce you to one of the worst enemies in the game. Ooh, I like him. We haven't met him yet. I know. Oh, this is the other oh, worst enemy in the game. I hate him. I hate him. He's so gross. Oh, he was wrong. It's all right. I know what to do. This is a big, gross bug that can disease you. Oh, no. And there's the other worst enemy oh, in the game. Oh, God. Those are big, ugly crabs. Those are armored enemies. So normal attacks are going to do less damage. But also, they have a very high chance of injuring you. And they can walk sideways, so they're harder to dodge. I hate giant crabs. Fail over son, how could you? The uh, other one, I mean. <laughs> on the plus side, failure of a son, he'll actually sort of come into his own in this case, because by leveling up his missile weapons ability, he actually has the ability to ignore some of this enemy's armor. It's gonna be very tight though, but we made it. Still alive, baby. Woo! I was almost right. I was kind of frozen in fear during that whole fight because I hate <laughs> the thought of giant crabs. I remember the first time I saw a Mirelurk and Fallout, I nearly shat myself. It's funny. Crabs, nature's food, is what brings you fear. Like, They're everything big. eats crabs. <laughs> They're big and gross. Even crabs eat crabs. <laughs> Not everybody has the same crab experience, Travis. Did one attack you as a child? No, I just... They're big and gross. Like... I don't know. I hate them. Everyone's scared of the thought of their food rising up against them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if my peanut butter sandwich grows legs, I'll just break its <laughs> legs and eat it. It's mine. Funny how there's so many enemies that drop food that you don't want to eat, but the crabs don't. Why? That's the one good thing about crabs' existence. Yeah, e eat this frog butthole, but crabs, no. What if you can get to level 20 if you eat one crab? But it has oh. to be alive. <laughs> Can I kill it, or does it have to be pictured? No, it has to fight you all the way down. <laughs> I would die! It might pinch your heart on the way down, but that's the risk you gotta take. If you wanna max out, man, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> okay, Pubert, I give you two choices then. You could pick between eating the live crab or a live eagle. Why? <laughs> both of them are kind of awesome. <laughs> and both of them want your blood. <laughs> is the crab a giant crab? So is the eagle. <laughs> uh, well, uh, level 20. I'll eat the crab, I guess. Ah, there you go. It has less of a chance of killing me. Just proven, Jacob hates eagles more than crabs. Another skull. And more cheese. <laughs> yes. Can I eat the cheese and get level 20? I'm waiting for you to starve first, apparently. Oh, thanks, dude. <laughs> Thorn, you know, you're my best friend. <laughs> Look, Pubert, I know you're starving right now, so I have a way of fixing it. Just hear me out. Oh, please, go on. <laughs> so, it's obvious that you're not into the, the live crab or eagle nope. situation. Can't say I am, no. So, how about we make both of us happy, and you just eat a live cricket dazzler? Okay, that, I think that would meet <laughs> both of our demands. I eye him with, like, a weird smirk. I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> yeah, sure. You can devour me, and then you slowly die from the inside. His Cricket Dazzler sets you on fire. Yeah, you activate fire within my stomach, and I get just the worst heartburn. 
Both of them turn to ash. I turn over to failure of her son. Okay, the chain's way lighter now with two people. This plan's working <laughs> to perfection. And I just walk back up. Yeah, so I took the resurrection thing. <laughs> oh, God, and you burst out of my stomach like an alien. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't stupid. Jury talked about drawing a picture of Yoshi karate chopping a sentient peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I just imagine the full meal deal here with <laughs> that, a picture of <laughs> Pubert trying to eat a live crab or live eagle. Um, <laughs> I'd imagine me probably using my axe to chop my plate in half. And Fail of a Son just asking, why did you kill the two other best fighters in the group? <laughs> As I chopped the plate in half, that answers your question. <laughs> oh, bone helmet that increases your strength. <laughs> oh, he's a he's a Q bone minotaur now. It's awesome. Q bone. Failure of a son leveled up way after everyone else. All right, we're all level A. Look over to Pubert, level 27. So many either in the comments or the thread mention they think that spears in general can be used underwater, not just the Zarktown harpoon. But you don't find many spears. Except for the one we left behind. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I don't get that because you can still stab with a sword. In fact, easier because it's made of metal and not fucking squishy wood. Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Um. <laughs> I think he used the wrong adjective. Um, <laughs> you know what? I agree. <laughs> but this is Jacob's first LP with us on the Straw Hat No. So people may or may not know, we have several years worth of every conversation with Jacob at some point, including us just getting disappointed in him. <laughs> <laughs> For some odd reason, usually it's not his fault, but it just happens. <laughs> You're treating me like I'm two years old. <laughs> Look, I, I love Jacob, though. We do love him. It's, he just has a curse around him. He's oddly quotable. <laughs> Not a lot of people have that quality. Oh, boy. So we got a new type of undead enemy here. The undead archers. They walk around really hilariously. I love these guys. They're actually one of the few enemies that actively prevents you from getting stuck in one place. I like them. I like the way they move. All right, Stan, one and two and play and Stan, no! Critical, yeah. <laughs> Look at him dance so fast. <laughs> there it is. This one opens a door in Grimrock 3. <laughs> mm hmm. But only if you have the save file for the first two games. You need two games in order for the third one to activate. Good luck finding the other button. <laughs> It'd be a good way to sell all of your game copies after you release the new one. Although everyone would be pissed, everyone would just begrudgingly do it. <laughs> <laughs> but then, like, you know, get to Grimrock 3 and you find the last room and it's just a really crappy item. Or it's just, like, a message on the wall, thanks for playing! <laughs> it's literally just that voice, thanks for playing! <laughs> it's a boss that says that and then fights you. That would be pretty awesome. He's like the giant clown face from Super Bomberman. Oh, Jesus. And he's indestructible. <laughs> Sounds like the boss from the first Grimrock. <laughs> now, I did mention that you could get to level 20 by eating the large live crab or the large live eagle. Lay it on me, Travis. What else you got? Well, I mean, negotiation-wise, now we have a large and inanimate clown head. <laughs> <laughs> Much larger than any of us. But that can be absolved through your <laughs> hunger. <laughs> Well, if it saves the day. Here's the trick. You have to do it in one second, though. What? <laughs> We've seen you do it before. Oh, my. One munch! One. I'm so upset that I was going to say <laughs> one munch. <laughs> well, I mean, you eat everything instantly. It'll sort of equate out. You know, I get the feeling that eating like a crunch wrap is a lot easier than eating a gigantic 30 foot clown head. Yeah, but you eat the crunch wrap instantly. It should take you about a second for this then. What this the? clown's being eaten by a fat ass rat pubert. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna be a psycho pubert! <laughs> I love myself. I don't want anybody else. <laughs> when, when I, I eat, eat a crunch clown, wrap, I just... <laughs> Thorn. 
one day you sh- you and I should just go to bush gardens. Just bush fucking gardens. Go to a bush in a garden. All right, sink it. And um, three, it'll be a good time. Two, we'll go jump in a one. hole. Sink. sink. Jacob, you're a big bitch. Now, this is some useful information. Just put it back. Just put it back. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take the dare. Oh, shit. Yes. Oh. Killed one of them. Hubert, you're handling the deaths of your family members pretty well. I never liked Cousin Flapjack. Don't want that. Do you want that? I just realized that he's the character that eats and never fights. So what does he use the dagger and the shield for? A knife and a plate. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere we've been going this whole time. Everywhere, Everywhere you, you eat. <laughs> <laughs> some point I'll have to tell you the spider crab story, Jacob. The spider crab story? Yeah, when I went scuba diving and saw the biggest crab you, you would ever see in your entire life. Oh, God. It was about eight feet wide. Oh, fuck. It was beautiful. Spider crabs. Okay, can, can, is it fair to say spider crabs creep me the fuck out? No. All right. All right. <laughs> well, you asked me. You got your answer. I don't know. <laughs> so scroll means paper. So we put in a sword. What? Oh, I get it. Rock means rock. Oh. So we put in the paper. And sword. So we put in a rock. Now be careful. There's another bug, buddy. You're allowed to be afraid of those things, Jacob. Thanks, man. You're welcome. And for that, we get a doll of a fat man. We get the pubert doll. Hey. <laughs> With 20 wacky pubert phrases. <laughs> Pull the string. 17 of which are just various versions of... Merry <laughs> 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 Christmas. <laughs> Somebody's poisoned the pubert. The somebody's poison the pubes. <laughs> Corin. <laughs> Somebody poison the iguana hole. Corin. <laughs> no one's gonna get that. Or was that in an episode? No. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Even if it did, no one's gonna get it. I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. Oh no. Huh? Oh no. Oh god, what is this? This is a bad place. Cast darkness. Quickly. Oh. <laughs> Let me make it darker. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Take a look around you. We've got three active mimics. Means you got some treasure. I sped this part up. Do not get yourself boxed in. You will die. <laughs> you keep missing every one of your attacks. Me? Ogre taint. He misses all of his special attacks. It's almost like you should focus on increasing my accuracy. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Hey! So here's your chance to fix this. There it. Uh. <laughs> well, I need to check your accuracy. I'm looking on the wrong side. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Looks at the stat with eyes crossed. <laughs> um. Okay, now you can do fireball. Yay! Yeah, let him be stronger. I continue to swing ineffectually. Oh. With all of my strength. <laughs> Just you wait. Not only can he do fireball now, there's a chance that the enemies will catch fire and continue to take damage. So basically you're saying, oh, just wait. You don't change, but he gets stronger. Great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, just you wait. I become even better. Now, this is interesting. This is an interesting new necklace. The neck chain. When you wear that, you don't starve or get burdened. <gasps> so, there's... I don't know why I gave it to Hubert, because the entire point of him is to feed him. But I can give that to one of the other people, and they will never starve. I think the point is the starving part. Because you do t put big gaps in between me eating. So I get pretty close sometimes. Ah! Right? Right? <laughs> Thank Cricket Dazzler. <laughs> the point, Jacob, you're going to be fed. No matter what, because I want you to level up. I want to give it to someone who, theoretically, I wouldn't want to feed ever. Wow. I'm so mad. <laughs> Why would that be, Travis? Because we had a full night's sleep and you're still not all the way fully healed. 
Oh, still got a scrape on his leg. Oh, so another thing, great. <laughs> How do you like my less than good compared to the other weapon weapon? <laughs> Sorry, I prefer people with morning stars. <laughs> it's funny how I kept the weapon because I prefer the special attack and you never land the special attack, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> just just rub salt into that wound. It hasn't quite healed yet. <laughs> oh no, oh no, damn it. <laughs> Maybe if I walk like a crab, it won't hit me. <laughs> oh no! Puber. Oh shit. <laughs> At least you're not dead to see the crab. I am dead to see the crab, and that's why I'm fucking happy. You are dead to see the crab. And there goes Overtain. And me. Uh, I was right. I win the money. Hey, I live. Of course you do. Motherfucker. <laughs> there you can see the crab is on fire, so it's still taking damage. Uh, Travis, you owe me like five bucks. Ain't no you shit. <laughs> so you keep talking like that. I'm holding all the food, and with that conversation, I'm rubbing the food all over my ogre taint. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. He's still gonna eat it, though. Eat up. It's a little more gamey this time. <laughs> he ate lizard ass. At least that was fresh. <laughs> oh, my God. And here you go, Travis. I'm going back for the morning star. All right, one point up, 17 points back. We're really getting places. Is that another axe? Yep. <laughs> it's a great axe. Is it better than the <laughs> Morningstar? I think so. It's a two-handed weapon, though. And here's me realizing, oh, that's not a problem. <laughs> so goodbye, Morningstar. Man. I can't wait to see a montage of all the Morning Star usage. They're kind of hard to hit as well. Ah. Ah. You know, I don't think they're harder to hit. I just don't think I'll hit them. <laughs> Ogre Taint has very low morale this episode. Today on The Legend of Grimrock 2. <laughs> it's like a TV novella like situation. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. You just see the morning star on a hospital bed hooked up to an <laughs> IV. <laughs> it has amnesia. <laughs> Maria. The path of the eagle. Oh. That means that there's a hidden path over the places that are lower. Leading to a giant dinner plate. And, uh... <laughs> pew, burp, pew, burp, pew, burp. Pew, burp, pew, burp. And as soon as you cross over, one, we get a snail figurine, but also one of the doors closes. Can I eat that instead of the eagle? In order to get across, we can't take the path of the eagle. We have to take a different path. Yay. The path of the giant crab. Pew, burp, pew, burp, <laughs> pew, burp. Pew, burp. Instead of saying chug, 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 it's fight, fight, fight. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, you no longer need the spider silk cloak, which is actually reducing your abilities. What the fuck is your problem with me? Like, really? <laughs> now, Corin. <laughs> oh, right. The reason why I said Corin back there in that the uh, Smash Brothers announcement voice is that this is during the time when uh, the DLC for Corin came out. You know how uh, Robin, when he or they or she wins, they have like a pretty cool victory quote, even though they're like an avatar character, but they still have like their own personality going. I think they kind of either didn't have enough time to write lines for Corrin or whatever, because they're just like the most generic fucking win quotes of all time. It's just one of those just I win. The other one is, well, it's just <laughs> you really flew in a guy from states away to do this. And this is what you give him. Like even female Corrin has better stuff. And so we just kept joking like. Wouldn't it be funny if they just, like, found the voice actor, but he was, like, in a rush, and so they just had to record it, but the audio quality was so shitty that they used, like, a really bad tape recorder or something? They give him lines, but he's not even, like, he doesn't even want to read it, he has to go somewhere. But, you know, like, <laughs> after the character says their win quote, the Smash Brother announcer says the name of the character? It got to the point to where it's just, like, it sounds so shitty that, like, after Corrin wins a match, God, what the fuck is that? Corrin! <laughs> <laughs> We just kept on joking, and there's just a, a terribly peaking microphone. <laughs> Corin. 
And we did that for like five minutes before we started one of the videos. Which is about what we do for every Let's Play. We just do stupid shit for a long time and then we, oh yeah, we have to record shit. And then it just got to the point to where anybody's just, there's like a silence or whatever. One of us just, Corin! <laughs> Also, this episode was abysmal for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, Thorne, I know you've already recorded these parts in advance, but could you put Cricket Dowser to the front of the line? I think I'll be the spellcaster from the back. <laughs> With no magic ability whatsoever. Yeah, but, you know, he seems so confident in his abilities. Why don't he be the tank for a while? Okay. I mean, I was standing right next to the crab thing and it didn't do shit to me. Because it knew, it, it smelts the fear. That's what crabs do. They smell your fear and then they go for whatever's the scaredest. Clearly based on science. Yeah. Jacob science. Jiggly science. I did it. What was the point? <laughs> the correct term is scaredest. <laughs> what was the point of saying, I did it? <laughs> <laughs> you did what? The science. You did? Yeah. Yeah, find another scientist that's saying that crabs smell fear. I did it first. See, you trying to justify the thing you said that didn't make sense is equally confusing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my stomach. I love Jacob so much. <laughs> yeah. Corin! <laughs> Go download another virus or some shit. I don't care. God damn. All right. I'll make the Corin virus so that we download it. That's what it shouts at you. No, that's how the the victory thing should happen. It's just the voice of Jacob Lu Luigi. What? <laughs> Corin. Corin. <laughs> I can hold my breath too. Don't mean I can fucking make frogs into princesses. What? <laughs> what are these? Those are rocks. All right, thanks. New enemy? <laughs> nope, just rocks. <laughs> what do they do, Thorn? They be rocks. Oh. They play light jazz. So I'm, I'm getting the gist that we have Cricket Dazzler to actually hit things. We have one to eat things, one to carry things, and one to build things. I guess... What a diverse bunch we are. I'm really good at carrying things. <laughs> Not hitting them. I know. I'm just a beast of burden. I'm like a large horse. And I feel like a horse would still be more likely to hit things than me. <laughs> Put a sword in its mouth. It'll do okay. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> From downtown! There it is. <laughs> that wizard that owns the place looks at the distance goes, oh, I can't understand doors. That reminded me of like when you try to bend over to pick up something and you swipe for it like four times before you actually manage to pick it up. Am I the only one who has that problem? <laughs> I love that we went to sleep to wake up to eat a frog tongue to go back to sleep. <laughs> Thanks, Craig Dazzler. Midnight snack. <laughs> what a day. So this is the meteor shield. I thought I was being sneaky. I wasn't. It's a trap. Ah, uh, it's the it's the it's the piddler, whatever his name is. The, tr the trickster. Oh yeah. The pid diddler. Is it possible to kill him earlier than your? <laughs> what? He is loving his day. <laughs> <laughs> He's just having such a good time. So there's that note saying, "Don't come in here again." Let's come in here again. Let's come in here again. Let's step on this obvious pressure plate. Boss fight. It's a giant rattling with a cannon. Daddy! Daddy? Ow. But he could quickly grab a key and run back out. Oh, are we not gonna fight my dad? Oh, we are, just not in there. Okay. We're just gonna get up to a higher elevation then drop down and do a jumping stab. It'll be fine. Oh! Oh, uh. oh! <laughs> I wonder if he's there. <laughs> Blown off. Yep, he's there. God, it's so scary when you can't see right now. Like when you can't see too far. Uh. Yep, <laughs> like that. Just freeze and repeat. Yeah, hit him with fire to melt it again. Yeah. yeah. I killed my dad. And you get his cannon. Oh, dick! That's awesome. The cannon. No, it's not great. Ah. Uh. Weighs too much. You can only use those cannonballs, which there is a pretty finite amount of in the world. 
So it's not like the rocket launcher for Resident Evil. <laughs> Did you just make a zoo? And what to give to Cricket Dazzler? A poison. Probably more fire, yep. A vicious but well-needed beating. Any of the above? <laughs> that a seaweed cape? A scale cape. Oh, that's much less gross. What if the scales were made of crab scales? Do crabs have scales? You tell me. No, then I'd have to get close to one. And you just don't want that kind of commitment in your life. Yeah, man. You can't handle that responsibility. Yeah, man, I gotta say, it's really hard to make a relationship with things that are A, crabs, and B, terrifying. So just because this would make a good romantic drama, like a book, there should be like a romantic novel drawn of Pubert with a crab. <laughs> you need to change your life choices. Finally commit to the crab. <laughs> oh, I will never. I will cheat on the crab wife. <gasps> That's terrible. Is it? Is it really? I'll take cannibalism, but cheating on your crab wife. <laughs> You know, I, I'm starting to think that you have a strange set of... Ah! Shit. You know, your crab wife is currently waiting at home, flowers and claw, staring through the window, its eyes blank, not quite understanding its surroundings, but the one thing it knows is you. I, I can I marry a Zarkton instead? They're so cute. Wearing that dress that you got her on your wedding day. Hair blowing in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop me. A giant crappy wig. Yep. <laughs> it's very off center, too. Zarkton, please. Frog was never good enough. I mean, crab? Crab? Frog? <laughs> what are you talking about? Jacob, you've got problems. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I have many wives. None of them are crustaceans. Crab infidelity problems at number one. <laughs> Crab is perfectly loyal. It's Jacob's fault. I know. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> I, I, I do not think I do not agree. What? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I just want to hug his Arcton, okay? Oh, great. Well, you backstabbed one. Way to go. Okay, that's that's kind of a hug with a knife inside. Just pubert sitting in bed next to crab wife, crab wife reading a book with glasses on. <laughs> Something wrong, dear. <laughs> so, dear, do you know Zarky? <laughs> yeah, yeah, him from uh, from work. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> you see, uh, what do you what do you think of him? <laughs> Just eating a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> what? In bed? Yes. <laughs> so don't commit to Zarky, okay? I'm not gonna commit to Crab Wife. You made this prenuptials in advance. <laughs> you can't back out now. What the fuck are you talking about? I never wanted a Crab Wife. I was forced into it by an ogre taint. For better or for worse, in sickness and in Crab. As Crab Wife looks over to you, give me a kiss, honey. <laughs> uh... Sorry, I didn't wear my makeup. It's okay, honey bunchkins. I made you some pasta. It's a corpse. <laughs> oh, it's my favorite. In a pot. <laughs> she shoved the large human into a small pot. That just reminds me of Breaking Bad. No meal should remind me of Breaking Bad. <laughs> so, unless it's uh, <laughs> Poyo. Oh, yeah. Poyo, Poyo, Poyo. You eat up, I'm gonna go save my legs. <laughs> um, you're not a mammal. I'm gonna eat my own eye stock. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so one of these days, I'm gonna tell whoever I marry that they're not a mammal. <laughs> this just in, I really hope I marry a mammal. If anything. And not a giant crab in a wig? Yeah. I'd rather marry a mammal than a crustacean, especially since humans are indeed mammals. Considering the law, I think you're in luck. <laughs> Immediately we get a turtle, turtle ass. ass. Cuties. I have puppy withdrawal. Don't think they'll help. I want to wub their bellies. Fan art Aww. of a work puppy. There they are. Oh, hey, buddy. 
This is a sand warg. They are extremely fast. They injure you very quickly. They do a lot of damage. I don't like them. And now there's two of them. Oh, you got puppy. You know, all seriousness, I bet these things do look really cute as puppies. We've seen them as puppies. They don't look that cute. No, I mean like newborn, like tiny babies. I'm bleeding like crazy. Who is a good puppy? <laughs> Who's a good puppy? And since you're injured, now we're slower and you're getting hit more. Who's a good... I'm gonna eat your steak. <laughs> it does look like a dog. It looks more like a bat without wings. <laughs> yeah, if you're right, kind of. And fangs. Wait, bats have fangs. Bigger fangs. Senpai! Can Pubert just stay outside and eat while this dungeon goes on? Well, you're chained to us. Listen, I'm a skinny... Well, no, I'm not skinny. I'm no, a, you're not. You're far from it. Hold, hold on, give me a sec. I can... Listen, I could use all the leftover butter. Wait, I ate it all. Fuck, I'm stuck with you guys forever. You ate the butter? Yeah. By itself? Um, some of it, yeah. Like, at least two sticks. I was hungry, and Thorn wouldn't give me any real food. Who's Thorn? I'm sorry, failure of a son wouldn't give me any real food. Ogretain's the one with all the food. You! Too, ooh. <laughs> hey, I'm just here to carry things. I didn't know I had to feed you, too. <laughs> sorry, I was gonna throw the food in your mouth, but I missed. <laughs> As I shove Cricket Dazzler down the stairs. See, look what you've done with us as we all get pulled down the stairs. I didn't do shit. I'm just a rat who ate a lot of butter. And ate your father. And my father. And ate those fathers in front of their children. You ate your dad. You ate other people's dads in front of the kids. You cheated on your crab wife. There's no <laughs> low point for you anymore. Welcome back to Legend of Grimrock 2. Today we're in the crystal mines of spiders. The only thing they dig up here is crystals and fucking spiders. Ooh. Look, spider. Aw. Okay, these spiders are kind of cute. Yeah. Expected them to be humongous. Well, these are the baby spiders. They can't hurt us, and we can't hurt them. Which is unfortunate, because I wanted to crush them. You you hate crabs because they're sea spiders, but when you see a real spider, you're like, aw, cute. <laughs> Listen, I realize that hell awaits, okay? It's like when you're standing in front of a, a gigantic spike wall coming your way, and behind you is a tiny knife. It's like, what are you going to be scared of? Probably both, because they both stab. You know what, Travis? <laughs> I don't know why I even try with you. <laughs> this whole logic game is very confusing, isn't it? Yes, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Have you watched any of his videos, Travis? Oh, I have. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. The movable blocks, whenever they're on an orange plot on the ground, that means they're activating something. In that case, they're activating the force field. Nope. Nope. Is there a means to reset any puzzle you fail? Because obviously a lot of these puzzles don't always do their best to explain what you need to do to get over them. There was a switch on the wall that you could reset it with. Nope. Nope. Get it? No, what? Fuck this guy right here. Hey, we came into his house, Jacob. Okay, back to the giant animal eating table. Okay, right. so we had to pick. <laughs> what? what do you want to bet? I'm gonna regret you having to paint in your legs. Yep. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I never expect that shit. Any moment that Jiggly Jacob gets scared and Angel gets its asshole i don't know <laughs> definitely not wings um, Excuse um i'm glad i could help look you're not born with an asshole jacob we all know this yeah i know fuck is there some kind of thing that happens when you die that i'm not aware of where your asshole just kind of grows in on itself i don't know i'm not jesus there are burn victims there yes there are Thank you. Imagine the stomach cramps they have. I, I do like how my lack of logic is is the one where Thorne goes, yeah, 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 totally makes sense, but not for yours. <laughs> God damn, can these get... God, just go extinct. I'm working on it. I like spiders, though. I don't like these ones. I like little spiders I'm okay with. In fact, I killed a spider today. Whatever. Oh, Fuck what? it. <laughs> <laughs> Little spiders are okay. I'm killing them actively. Yeah, I like them. I murder them all the time. 
just... I'm trying to think of an example of an animal that will not be bad when it's bigger. Absolutely. Here's me realizing, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be a dex build and I haven't increased my dex at all. Oh. <laughs> just in time to get a crossbow, which is better than my bow. Failure of a son. Failure of a mathematician. More failure of an lp -er. <laughs> oh. I'm not the reason people are watching this LP. Are we really? From all the comments and fan art. <laughs> oh, what game was something like that from? I think it was Resident Evil 4. Like something with an eyeball in its mouth. It really hates Pubert. <laughs> Damn it. Ah! See, the only reason you're not getting more fail art because... Uh, fail art. <laughs> fail um, art. That's so mean. <laughs> Honestly, it's the best way to describe it because the only ones who get art are ones who have failed in something. You're, you're just... You've been so neutral. Maybe if you fail in something. But fail is literally in his name. He fails at failing. What can I say? <laughs> hey. Oh, shit. It was a trap. Oh. Look, it's our best friends. Fire and ice elementals living in harmony. Fucking mass hysteria. Side by side on my cake. I accidentally started going Ghostbusters there for a second. I started thinking <laughs> Stevie Wonder. <laughs> mass hysteria. Mass hysteria for Stevie Wonder. <laughs> How dare you? Living legend who was in a beer commercial. <laughs> Is that where you know him from? <laughs> 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 no, but I remember it happened. Okay. <laughs> Recently. I was a little bit afraid. Recently? Yeah. It was like for the Super Bowl. Okay. Not the last one, but a recent one. Maybe it did happen in the last one. I wasn't paying attention. I was a little bit afraid that that's all you knew Stevie Wonder from was from a blind <laughs> Super no. commercial. I'm like, oh, come on. I've heard superstitious. Really? <laughs> Thorn? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's the puzzle. Only the brave may pass, which means just stare down a fireball. Fireballs moving towards me, I would probably would have been just sliding failure of a sun in front of me just very slowly. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Did, did that thing just sneeze on us? Basically, I need it to sneeze on me from a distance, though. <laughs> and I need to keep this door open. Oh, shit. <sighs> <laughs> oh, new fire spell. And it's pretty damn cool. Sorry, Travis. Just increase my accuracy would solve all the problems that I have in this moment, you know. I will eventually. You got new boots. Crystal boots. My, my space boots. Nobody likes booster. Don't fall in that hole again. I'll do what I want, Jacob. <laughs> Back to where we got the recipe. You almost, you almost sound offended, Jacob. Just... <laughs> 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 How dare you? I'm imagining failure of a son forever, like, leaning on Ogre Taint's shoulder, just whispering what direction to go. Like, forward, 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 turn left, forward, turn right. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so, basically, Yoda. <laughs> yeah, I can completely need your training. Hey, how you doing? Let me whisper in your ear. <laughs> Have you been to Disneyland? What's that? I don't know. <laughs> and now I am kind of expecting a video that is just all Jacob reactions to jump scares in this video. It's still just rotten. Ah! <laughs> all like five of them. So that's the new one. Multiple fireballs. Yep. I don't know if they're as strong as the individual fireballs, but there's a lot of them, so it does a lot of damage anyway. Jeez. <laughs> Damn. And somehow I still get poisoned. How do I keep on getting poisoned? What's going on? You might just have low poison resist. Give him some damn antidote. He's not in danger of dying. Yeah. Okay. When his, like, arm is puffed up to the size of five grapefruits and he's, like, on one leg of health, I mean, I'm sure you're going to have all the antidote. Have you ever met... Oh, let me just ask, have you ever measured health in legs? <laughs> Who cares? You've got a meteor hammer. <gasps> Damn, that don't even look like a hammer. You wanted to get stronger, this is how you get stronger. You get better shit. Hey, hopefully I hit. You won't. That's what we use the meteor for. I think it's stronger than his current hammer, and it does fire damage as well.
So look who the real fire wielder is. <laughs> oh, looking at it, it's, it's not like a gnashing a, a nail into wood hammer. It's an Olympic hammer. It's like something you swing. It looked a little bit like a big hammer connected to a chain from what it looked like. Yeah, like a like the hammer toss in the Olympics. Hammer toss? Isn't that what it's called? Like where you swing around the giant ball and throw it? You're asking the wrong people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I it was called shot put. No, that's when you just throw the ball, like, in your hand. I thought that's what you meant. No, there's one where you... Never mind. <laughs> Give up. There's one where you slide this rock and then you scrub the floor. Is that the one you're talking about? That's curling. <laughs> Isn't that what you do alone in your room when you're crying? Who gets the medal for that one, Jacob? <laughs> Who gets the medal for that one? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, cricket dazzler. Uh, you're green. You're making that face because you're vomiting. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have died. Oh, no. Oh, I have arrived. I didn't even notice. <laughs> I like how, like, I'm all upset if my character dies, but just... Puber just kind of has this lack of pride about everything where it's just like, okay, that's fine. That's just my life. Give me some food. I mean, I've died like seven times where I'm used to it. At the highest level. The highest level of us, not in the game. Well, not until I apparently eat a giant crab, a giant eagle, a giant spider, and what else? Your pride. Eat my pride. I could do that. Your giant pride. <laughs> my giant pride. It's not that giant right now. Hmm. No wonder you're not leveling up. <laughs> See, you're complaining, why don't you get to level 20? Well, here's an obvious reason. <laughs> Look who's back. Uh, giant rat guy? Giant rat guy's back. Oh, and look oh, who's also back. <laughs> yeah, great. It's, as I refer to him by accident, the piddler. <laughs> the pid diddler's back. <laughs> hey, diddly, 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 ding. He's running away, get him. That's Irish, right? Oh, it is St. Patrick's Day when we're recording this. That's true. It's gonna be weeks till it goes up, though. None of you are wearing green. You thought I didn't hear that, did you, bitch? Shit. I didn't hear that one, though. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like you punched him in the jaw with that arrow. You know, when he's on fire and skipping away, it's more like he's screaming while he's doing it. Oh, <laughs> oh good, he was back. He remembers you, pubert. I'm dead again. Yep. We're back. Hey, Thorn. I mean, failure. How's it going? Oh, great. I walked into the fireball. I picked a bad place to try to run away to. I would really love to see, like, a D&D a &D game in this format. <laughs> All right. What do you decide to do with your turn? Uh, turn my head slightly and turn it back. That will cause the enemy to move. Uh, 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 come on. You know what you need to do? Do the right thing. What I need to do is get out of the way of the cannon. Well, that's one thing, but do the right thing and go right now. There you go. Yay! <laughs> Accuracy up. Oh, dad. And down now. Because obviously his accuracy is really good. All right, Pubert, <laughs> more cannibalism for you. All right, cool. I've already eaten my dad, I guess. I mean, nobody liked my uncle. Except for my dad. I had a hard time telling them apart, to be honest. <laughs> when one of them walked up, I just knew in my gut which one was the one I loved. <laughs> you knew because you ate them and they tasted different. Hey, this Crunchwrap's a little gamey. And alive. <laughs> and called me son. <laughs> I think by now we can do this puzzle. Let's hope so. Just need to stand here. Here we go. <laughs> All up for the skull. That's a good enough reason. Ow. I'm so glad you could breathe in your magic, asshole. Magic lungs. Magic lungs. Yay. Totally working. Aren't you glad? Man, having a whole a bag full of skulls with a skull helmet. Which is badass. Next time we will be exploring the Pyramid of Umas. Easily the longest dungeon in the game. It's going to cover three videos in one update. Uh, it's a two-hour dungeon, which I managed to squeeze down to one hour, though. So, won't be too long, and it's got a pretty amazing final room. It's full of pants. <laughs>
<laughs> it's not like you were going to say something else at first. Yeah. That's how you get people off your trail with even a single word. Because I'm thinking about what it is and no. <laughs> Listen, if I risked my life in a pyramid of death and spiders just to make it to the middle room where all of my power would be for something and I see a room full of pants. Listen, Jacob, you don't do those sort of things. I don't even wear pants to obey. <laughs> I wear nothing but pants. What about your boxing gloves? I like singlets. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm wearing. No, oh, man, you gotta wear pants I see. <laughs> I'm not wearing pants, small man. <laughs> bow, chico, bow well. <laughs> Put it in, strong man. <laughs> I would rather not. <laughs> no. If you don't put it in, we all get depressed. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing down there? <laughs> I'm the king of cock. <laughs> I thought it wouldn't be funny. <laughs> India peace, Chuang Bad. <laughs> oh my god. For a second there, it so like they were recorded. State your peace, Chuang Bad. <laughs> I'm up to negotiations. You're so good at this, Chuang Bad. <laughs> Stay tuned to our Nest LP where we have this level of entertainment all the time. Turn off your recording, Strong Band. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Tell you what, Jacob. To make you feel better, in the final part of the video, I'll fill the hub with nothing but pants. I won't. I won't do shit. Sorry, sorry. What was that? I didn't hear a thing. Don't tell Jacob. I'm doing it for me. <laughs> I don't want him to hear this. I don't feel like leaving you guys alive. <laughs> <laughs> just chuck some poison at him. It just poisoned him, set him on fire, stab him. You can tell from the way he was looking around, he's actually trying to run away, but all the other guys boxed him in. Oh my god, what assholes. My turn, my turn! <laughs> yeah, buddy, you, okay, you're just gonna jump right in. Have you noticed how little damage we're taking? Like, one to two damage per stab. That's wonderful. And my critical hits do, like, 350. <laughs> yeah. That's actually a good example of how strong we've gotten. Because we've been fighting these guys off and on throughout the entire LP, and now we're taking them out. I don't even have to transition through them. It'd just be a waste. Did I set him on fire, or was he just on fire because he knew better? <laughs> <laughs> I beat it in a punch. Whatever makes you feel better, Yoshi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course, I increase my accuracy. <laughs> yeah, screw me, right? You know, you didn't even add to it, but you can still use it, fuck it. Oh, whoa, hi. <laughs> Hello, friend. That is the worst skeleton. We were asleep. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> All four of them. At least enemies can't telefrag you. New enemy. Hey. Oh. And he doesn't see me. I can talk to it. Oh. <laughs> Jacob, oh, you're up. No. No. <laughs> yeah. you yep. I have to eat snake ass? Yeah. Pubert. 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 No. Why does it always have to be the butt? Why can't he eat a snake head? Swallow the poison. Ah. Ingest high. Because <laughs> the snake head's busy swallowing us. Sorry, I'm warming it up for you. Listen, I was not just loudly talking about how I'd rather eat your head. He really means he really wants to eat your ass. <laughs> Ugh, don't word it like that. Pubert, you're getting more experience than any of us. No. Or you would be if I fed you. Yeah, about that. I am starving, but I'd rather not eat fucking snake anus. Do snakes even have anuses? I don't know. So then, quick question to that fact, why do we eat Taco Bell, then? Listen, Taco Bell's <laughs> a lot of things. Snake anus is not one of them. Try our new snake anus chalupa here at Taco Bell. <laughs> ah. Try it now. But frog ass. Yeah, that's fine. And iguana anus. Listen, I don't have anything in common with a frog. And those mummies have done nothing with their ass thus far. We're just saving them for later. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have an ass anymore. Asses of the dead. <laughs> that is the worst porn. 
probably exists. How do you know that? Hey, look, Jacob, there's someone out there who likes that. Don't be so judgmental. Well, if you're a viewer, then say hi. Don't kink shame the necro booty. <laughs> the necro booty. No, I think I will <laughs> after that <laughs> statement. <laughs> I'd like to imagine that after killing all 50 of those rats, there's just 50 individual rat asses on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> eat up, Jacob. I hope you eat lots of the rat ass. Come on in. Now you'll eat the rat ass and friends. Dude, we could totally be the Fantastic Four, though. Like, Ogre Tain is the thing. Failure of a son is Mr. Fantastic. I don't want to be the thing. <laughs> He's the lamest one. <laughs> Okay, you were so excited. You're the thing because you're ogre taint. <laughs> that explains it. <laughs> but it does make sense though. You have to be the thing. You're the strongest one. No, that means I'm only the thing because no one else can be the thing. That's not fair. <laughs> and obviously, because of his sexadelicness, Pubert is invisible woman. Because nobody notices him. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> what does that mean you're married to failure of a son? Wink. And failure of a son refuses to feed you. Oh, yeah. What a husband. <laughs> Stretch me my dinner, dear. So in order to open that door, we need to take those items. Yes, we're doing a let's play, guys. <laughs> we are Cricket and the Dazzlers. Guess it's better than Ogre and the Taints. <laughs> you say that. They're amazing live. <laughs> this guy, what is he doing? <laughs> what is your purpose, bro? You're, I'm happy you're dead. He was dead to begin with, but I mean... Well, he was happy and dead at the same time already. We just made him double dead. It's like Double Dare for mummies. And then in a few years, they'll revive it with Double Dead 2000. <laughs> Welcome to Nickelodeon Double Dead. <laughs> Nickelodeon Double Dead dies. <laughs> That's a mimic. No, it's not. <laughs> That's a knife. Hey, it's your favorite, and they're on fire. Yeah, <laughs> my fiery favorites. Now that sounds like Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> that scream. Now that's what I call music fire edition. I think that's the first enemy to actually die from the burning rather than an actual attack. Yeah, I haven't seen it happen. My dream has come true. Those are actually really good gauntlets. I don't think Ogre Tank's going to use them, though, because he's still got the bear claws. But once I've cleared this little room out, I can still take them back. Pardon me, Thorn, my good friend, my buddy old pal, is that pie? <laughs> that is blueberry pie. You asked previously if there was any super rare food. That's it. Pie. Who made the pie? I already ate the pie, right? I think so. I'm not going to hang on to it for a trophy. You're going to make it. <laughs> this is our valuable <laughs> old blueberry pie that we found in a room. <laughs> Look, if anyone can stomach that shit, it's Pubert. He's got the stomach of a vulture. Uh, it basically tastes like a stone. <laughs> But funnily enough, you can't eat that. It actually reminds me a lot of Tomb Raider at this point. I don't remember a lot about Tomb Raider, so I can't be very specific about it. Does she raid the tombs? She does raid the tombs, and this seems to be a tomb, so. Nice. Was that her? <laughs> Lara Croft. Turning me to stone by this point. Lara Croft in the tomb <laughs> with Medusa powers. I thought you said Lara Croft. <laughs> well, they wouldn't be wrong because those characters never get the names right. <laughs> no one knows the fuck we're talking about. No. <laughs> by this time, if you guys were going to make that video, it'd be up by now. That's true. <laughs> so we'll just see what happens. Either you get to joke or you don't. Magic booze. I thought you were saying magic boobs. That would be even better, but sadly, those are not currently present. Well, we keep burning everyone we see. <laughs> what does that have to do with magic boobs? It means that I lit the boobs on fire. Oh, there's the magic boobs. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> By clearing that rim out, we get the ancient claymore. Ooh, nice. Mama. Too bad Travis didn't hang around, because I'm pretty sure that's better than the meteor hammer. Actually, I think it's about the same. No, it's worse. Oh well, at least it looks cool. <laughs> Be very careful, because we got more Medusas. Medouche bags. Now that fireball is going to continue to hit that switch on the wall, so be very careful in case you end up trapping yourself back there. Worth it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> we can just sidestep that. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah, not turning stone. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Those fireballs work on the enemies, too. <laughs> Wonderful. Why isn't my strategy working? <laughs> this is great. <laughs> She's the... Just please let it kill her. <laughs> please. Uh, wait, if she comes, if she takes a step closer. Damn it. Oh, I did it for them. I just saw Haley's coming. She ow. <laughs> yeah, you really did though. Go to part 13-3 for probably my favorite part of the entire game. Oh man. It's gonna get crazy. <coughs> there's gonna be a. There's gonna. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> like fuck what I was gonna say. <laughs> I'm fine. I have a sore throat. Tune in next time when I get my tonsils removed live. Straw hat no live from the dentists. What the fuck happened to the straw hat no? Where we have to go <laughs> do it from a dentist's office? <laughs> Hey man, that's how you know we're going up in the world. <laughs> we went from being in all of our respective rooms to Dave the Dentist's fucking storage closet. It's a venue, man. <laughs> we're doing it live. <laughs> oh shit. For this episode, uh, Hubert's getting a root canal. All of us, uh, we're just getting a cleaning. <laughs> ah! <laughs> he didn't even need anything. I don't know why he's getting in. <laughs> he just walked right in and said, surprised me. <laughs> What's today's special, Doc? <laughs> We're doing root canals. <laughs> Not every place is Taco Bell, Puber. <laughs> I'll have two quesalupas and a drilling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Best part of the game. Mommy. Whoa! <laughs> we are in mummy gangbang hell. Oh. There is a shit ton of mummies around here. They're pretty weak. Kai Wang thinks they might be like mummies from the first area of the game. Like level one, very weak. But there's a lot of them. Holy shit. Uh, question, I saw a giant fucking thing in the distance. Oh yeah. That I don't know what they're called. I call them meteor golems. You remember that image of the Island Master enslaving everybody? Those guys were in it. They were being used as beasts of labor. Oh my god. Damn. So here on Mummy Island... Mummies. Well, uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting a whole show out of Mummy Island. <laughs> More fun than- oh shit! <laughs> Less fun than that. Let's touch the safe crystal and get the hell out. Okay, fuck my idea. Oh, Whoa. blow it up. Get the fuck out of there. Let's back away and run for our lives. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, look at that, Jacob. Serpent blade. A badass dagger for Pubert. I can stab snakes twice as effectively. It doesn't have any special abilities, unfortunately, but it does a lot of damage. Awesome. And that's just as good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even really attacking the meteor golems. Oh, Jesus. Um, oh. They're attacking me. He's certainly attacking us. Yeah. And even though I'm in the back, I somehow didn't get hit by any of that. God. I'm starting to feel Ogre Taint's hatred towards you. Oh no. You. Oh, oh, of course, and we're cornered. Well, not anymore because he's an idiot, but. <laughs> Fucking horn swoggle ass piece of shit. <laughs> and Zombie Island? God. Oh no! Pubert! 
<laughs> oh no, I've bit the dust for the ninth time. And look at this. There are so many enemies, and I've used up all of my crossbow bolts, so I have to go back to the throwing weapons. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Kill the little bastard. Oh, oh. Alright, he's gone. To the crystal! Like, Dorn, can you bring me back, please? You're back! You're fine! I know! <laughs> Besides, the good thing about you dying is that you don't take any experience or get any. You are the worst friends! <laughs> but it's when you eat that you get strong! Why are you thinking about the plus sides to my death? Because you can soak up health and then I live! Fucking shit! <laughs> and because you can come back to life. <laughs> Listen, just because death has no fucking consequence in this world doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. I've seen God more times than you can imagine. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys noticed, there's two meteor golems. Oh, no, they're oh. right. <laughs> they're brothers. How is God, by the way? Black. Oh. Well, yeah, he's Morgan Freeman. Well, then again, there's like a million gods, so, okay. Like this one, for example. Bruce Almighty <laughs> was right. Oh, look, it's only those two now. And a, and a third one. No, 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 it's just a pillar, never mind. <laughs> I think that the sun going down right now just makes the fight all the more epic. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to imagine the score started with the zombies at the beginning, and then, like, as the sun went down, it just started getting, like, slower, and, like, you can clearly hear the instruments are getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> They got so tired to just play the song on the radio. Fuck it. <laughs> hey, meteor plate. Oh no, awesome. Yeah. And a gold key. Now let's kill the other one. Yeah, backstabbed. Next time, we will explore the cemetery and fight actual zombies. Ooh, the cemetery, also known as Zombie Island. <laughs> you see, Yoshi, all you had to do was keep doing the joke. Eventually, you'd be accurate. Yay! Zombieland, starring Kiefer Sutherface. I don't know who's in Zombieland. <laughs> well, you could have just gotten out of that by saying, featuring the cast of Zombieland. <laughs> <laughs> so, now I'm just wondering what that fifth elemental is supposed to be if it's not love. Maybe it's hope. Is it friendship? Because if you're playing by yourself, you have no friends, and that makes no <laughs> sense. Is it french fries? It's crunch wraps. Yeah! Why should be farming? <laughs> <laughs> if you look at Pubert the whole goddamn time, you were dying, you were holding out on it. Listen, I didn't know. But you have all these kids. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> listen, I may have gotten drunk washed up on the beach and fucked a lot but that was the only time i swear so earth fire wind water and farming <laughs> <laughs> the five elements of the universe <laughs> with their hit september and farming <laughs> uh, <yeah>. farming <laughs> in september <laughs> <laughs> This being a cemetery, of course we can grave rob. Oh no, zombies! But there are zombies. But we deserve it, apparently, because we're robbing them. This is a very ready zombie. Got the Goku pose going on. He's ready for fun. <laughs> or the DJ pose. Zika zombie, goodbye. His DJ's ready for a remix. Pummel face. I love it. Lord Pummel face. There's some pretty cool stuff on the graves and in the graves. Like a sack of crunch wraps. <laughs> Where all Taco Bell gets all of their ingredients. The <laughs> graveyard. I don't I would not believe it. <laughs> I love how you say it so nonchalantly just by the fact you eat it so regularly. <laughs> it's probably made of corpses. Oh hey. The other ingredient for Taco Bell. Violence. I do like all the effort they made to individual tombstones having their own little stories. Most games wouldn't do that. Oh, look. Doop -de doop doop. Doop -de doop doop. <laughs> Just waiting for you to dig one up and it contains a giraffe. 
<laughs> on a tricycle. <laughs> With a gun. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did you do to my house? You walk right from my slumber, pal. At least there's another skull. I got a skull. Will I, will I have a bag full of skulls at some point? Oh, yeah. There's nine skulls in the game where we're getting all of them. Yes. Oh. I thought that skulls were just a thing you found around. I didn't know there was a set number of them. Yep. <laughs> if there's a limited amount, that would be so broken. Yeah. Well, not a, a limited, of course, but... I don't know. I didn't know they were that hefty. It hefty. Hefty in terms of, like, importance, I guess. So I guess the <laughs> word I was thinking of is important. Right. <laughs> I'm on the same page as you right now, Jacob. I think there's stuff down here too, including zombies. <laughs> just landing on the ground and hearing just doom. Oh my God. Whatever, at least you're eating now. On the downside, because you're eating Taco Bell, your anus is now destroyed. Listen, I'm a rat. <laughs> How undestroyed could my anus possibly be? I like how this is a... Some sort of debate. <laughs> Look at my anus, man. No, Look at it. I'm I'm good. I'm. <laughs> I try to look. I miss. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, I feel bad about saying that. I'm complete. If I'm being completely honest, I wish I didn't do it. I kind of do too. <laughs> but to be fair, you said it in a recorded format. I mean, if it didn't happen, I think my life would be better off. So would mine if you kept it more brief. I could have edited it out. But now I can't. Well, too bad. Now the whole world will look at my hands. <laughs> what does it make? Because obviously there's like elements that get made from these. So does this make the mysterious shadow or something? The, the mysterious fifth element we don't know about yet. Yeah, don't spoil it. Even if we are. <laughs> don't don't talk to me like that, Jacob. <laughs> don't spoil it. Shame on you. I was talking to both these. Travis doesn't know, and I'm not going to say. Okay, <laughs> shit, y'all. <laughs> Trying to pick a fight, Jacob. Uh, yeah. My fists are yelling. This is going to be kind of a dark comparison, but it kind of reminds me of, like, those pictures of, like, concentration camps. I'm glad you brought that to this Let's Play. I'm glad that the comedy can hit hard and fast. <laughs> <laughs> Oh look, it's a flying eyeball. Ain't that wacky? <laughs> Looks like a Nazi. Might as well just continue the trend, Jacob. <laughs> Looks like a Nazi stings like a bee. <laughs> was was Muhammad Ali's less famous saying <laughs> before he began to shake his head and face palm. All right, Zarent Wormbound. He's basically a tougher zombie, and he's got dual long swords. Dual wield! Oh god! He also summons more zombies. However, if you lodge yourself in this little passage to his left, your right as soon as you come in, none of the zombies can get to you, and he's incredibly easy. Did I hit him for 444 damage? You critical the fuck out of him. Holy shit! I don't know why, but I hated that guy. <laughs> I just did not like him. What did he do to you? I don't know. I just don't like his face. I didn't like the way he stood. I didn't like him. I thought he was kind of cool. Amulet of Nurgle. <laughs> that, that sounds like something Jacob's made up. <laughs> A slightly tricky puzzle. It's the second time you said that in this episode. <laughs> I say it multiple times. Third, I think. When I press that button, a little light flash flies by. I need to pull that lever in order to close the gate behind me and open this gate up, but I need to time it so that the ball of light doesn't hit either of the gates. Basically, just follow the light above you. The more I hear about this game, the more I think I'm probably more capable of performing open heart surgery than playing this game. <laughs> That'd be a good review on the website for this game. <laughs> but if you can play this game well, then you can do open heart surgery. Mummy Mania 32. Oh, I died. Fantastic. And Travis. Well, look who's still fresh as a bagel. The closer we get to this, the more I realize that he's never going to die. 
You'd be surprised. And that reality is terrifying to me. What the hell do you do there? You stick your head through the bars. Get stuck. And there's a switch right down there. So you need to drop a rock through them. That opens up this gate. So when I stand on that switch, the force field across the way opens up. So I need to time a throw. So I get through the force fields and that opens up the door. God. Like that time I got my head stuck in a soccer net. When I was a kid. I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. One of practically every enemy is in here. And there's a puzzle. Like a museum. I love it. Finally, the zoo that I was talking about like six episodes ago. Yep, here it is. So this is a cool puzzle. We have four options here. We need to find the odd man out. One of these things is not like the other thing. One of these things is monsters. Oh. So I think the first one was find the one that isn't made of gold. Second one, find the one that isn't edible. It was a potion. Huh? Find the one I think is worn. I don't remember. Find the one that doesn't poison you. This is really cool. <laughs> find the one that isn't on the ground. It's a flying dude. And there we go. If you choose the wrong one, you get blasted with fire and one of the cages opens up. I wish all the cages opened up all at once. <laughs> yeah. That'd be so cool. So this room is kind of a wasted opportunity. The puzzle here is, ow my ass. We need to remove the torches so that way we can see the light shining in. Ah. Any place where the light is shining in is where the spikes are not going to shoot up. How is it a wasted opportunity? Because your torches do not affect this. Ah. Oh. Or Cricket Dazzler's light. See you, Thor. Oh, guy, he's so close. He's Look so him. close. Look, I'm actually pointing at my screen. Thor, what are you doing? Let him die. No. Oh, yeah, give me all the fish. Okay, that's fine. Can't just let nature take its course. Hold your assholes, everyone. <gasps> it's so tight right now. Is it going to happen? I'm looking on the wall because there is a secret button around here, which is such a dick thing to do. There it is. Oh my god, this is so tense. This is so dumb at the same time. He's healing! <sighs> Come on! There's no way he'll let it happen. Victory has come yeah. upon the ogre tent. We have found Yoshi's weakness. Me simply not healing him. <laughs> oh, no, uh, Son of a... <laughs> <laughs> that was the best 30 seconds of my life. <laughs> now I can grab these chains oh. if I want to injure myself and send some oh, enemies no. after me. Mosquitoes. So of course I'm gonna free all these monsters. What is that? Oh, it's the mushroom, mushroom. guy, okay. Yep. I thought it was like a brain. Woo! <laughs> 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 Man, now the Cricket Dazzler died once, I don't know what to live for anymore. So die. <laughs> yeah, I think it's my time to go, guys. Even though I've gone like nine times. I don't need judgment to call me on itself. Oh. <laughs> used to stab me in the asshole. <laughs> so you have to save when it's frozen, in the frozen time. <laughs> he stabbed me in the asshole. Oh god, that's stuck in my head. <laughs> Especially when I need the pain. Real talk, I really like the beat to that song for some reason. Have you ever slowly dressed? I want to fuck it. Uh, <laughs> Were you asking if I've ever slowly undressed to hotline bling? <laughs> Let's go with that, sure. I don't want to know what you were going to say. Here's Oral. He's exactly the same as his brother. Oh. Oral? <laughs> Here's the thing, though. We don't have a place where we can really hide. But if you stay up in his face, he never summons zombies. Which makes him incredibly easy, too. We also brought a little paralyzing munch munch. Yep. The way he stands, he's just so proud of his shit. 
There it is. Now Pubert ripped his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Always eating Taco Bell. You used to call me Puby Hubert. Do I have to ban you? <laughs> Alright. Next time, final dungeon of Grimrock. Do, do, do. I'm glad you're playing taps for the death of Cricket Dazzler. No, the death of Cricket Dazzler is more like celebrate good times. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. You used to call me Cricket Dazzler. <laughs> He's fucking banned now. <laughs> I want him fired. I want his house burned to the ground. Jesus, I don't even live here. Wait a minute. <laughs> have you told your landlord well i've been trying to keep a secret and i'm in a loud let's play group so i'm not doing a very good job good thing he has no ears and cell phone <laughs> sure jacob so there's a secret right in the first room i was hoping it was a mimic there is a chance that chest will be a mimic and if it is I think you basically have to telefrag it in order to kill it. Or you can just sit here and get eaten. Wow. That's a fun option. What has the better strategic advantage is the question. So this is cool. This room actually gives us some detail into that fifth element that we learned about earlier. The fifth element is balance. Sadly, it is not farming. Fuck. Well, this game's stupid. The fifth element clearly is Chris Tucker. I thought it was going to be wood. Yes, a skull! Final skull. Three by three, death. Yes! <laughs> Clearly, guys, stand pack. Clearly, I need the book of knowledge. <laughs> I can't read. It would make you smartier. See? <laughs> I can't read, crunch. <laughs> <laughs> well, the book does disappear, so you have a point. These pubes were cursed for ten generations. <laughs> I thought you said these pubes were cursed for walking. Yeah, I thought you were going to say the same thing. <laughs> and that's what they will pube. <laughs> One of these these, these pubes are going to grow all over you. Oh, oh. <laughs> I hear a squishing sound. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. It's your friend. Pubert, 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 Pubert. Listen, we talked about doing the do si -do. You found your partner to and throw. <laughs> <laughs> we all just fall flat on our faces. I imagine Ogretain with his hands on his hips with a big grin like he accomplished something. Just, yeah. Just because I eat the booty like groceries doesn't mean I like spiders. <laughs> I, God damn it. Have you ever thrown a handful of leaves on a rock and falls apart? God damn it, Ogretain. Listen, I'm... You get, like, every status effect in the universe. Because I'm up front. I absorb all of them through my skin to save all of you. I'm basically Minotaur Jesus. I puked for your sins. <laughs> <laughs> That's puber for sure. I don't have any sins. I just have success. Puber pukes for himself. Yeah, puber yeah. pukes for his own sins. I'm a selfish vomiter. You abandon your crab wife to eat ass like groceries because you're a selfish <laughs> vomiter. <laughs> Why is my health such ass? Because you're a farmer. You know, farmers naturally unhealthy people. Have you seen the things you've been eating, Jake? Ooh, that's... Yep. yep it is actually a fair question, because I've given you all of the vitality potions. <laughs> I guess they're not worth it. Oh, my ass. The biggest lesson you get from this is that no matter how healthy you try to be, if you eat nothing but Taco Bell, your HP is shit. This is a mimic, I swear to God. Yeah! Yep, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it doesn't really bother me. I, I kind of want to see it happen, because I want to punch it in its mouth. If we had a screwdriver, do you know how quickly that thing would die? Imagine horrifying this this mimic dragging its top jaw behind it. Because we unscrewed its mouth. And now to break its legs. Now to embarrass it in front of its friends. <laughs> hey, other mimics. This one's unhinged. <laughs> Mr. No Mouth. <laughs> We're pretty much out of the puzzles and traps. This is just an area to get yourself ready because 
The next room is the final boss. Awesome. It feels like only yesterday that I set us all on fire when we started the game. <laughs> yeah. Now you're setting everything else on fire. You have improved. I know so much. Feels like only yesterday I ruined the first recording. <laughs> and I learned Gatling Red Hawk and I don't use it. Last bit of buffing. Last bit of Jimmy buffing. Cheeseburger. And now I'm basically using all of my potion ingredients to make as many healing and buffing, speed up, rage potions, giving them to everyone as I can. Ah, oh, the vice tactic. Yep. The fucking boss is just looking down at you like, hurry up. <laughs> We're sitting here for hours brewing and he's just like, I'm gonna figure out a strategy for this. Uh-huh, sure. I'm also making a new potion specifically for Ogre Taint. I mentioned it before, but I don't think I've used it yet. The transmogrification potion. It basically, it turns you into a bear. Whoa. Yes. And it's awesome. <laughs> we, yeah, that, 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 I feel like after we finish, we just take a nap, like one long nap. We've been doing it in front of pits. We might as well do it in front of the boss. <laughs> I'm also making some antidotes and antivenoms because... The boss summons a bunch of minions, and some of them do poison you. All right, shield potions, speed up potions. <laughs> Let's get ready. We, we walk in, there's these bunch of roid monsters. Holy oh. shit. Travis, you actually are a bear. Lindworm. Island Master and his pet dragon. I like how everyone else looks normal, and now I'm just a bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's rad. <laughs> Look what I can do. What the fuck did he just say? Yeah, the boss is going to taunt us through the entire battle. So quickly, how the bear form works. You can see his energy is draining very fast. As long as you're a bear, and as long as you have energy, you stay a bear. As soon as you run out, you go back to normal. But you can keep drinking energy potions and stay that way. Bear form is basically just stupid strength. It's all power, and rage potion also increases your strength. So if I just down a bunch of those and bear thing, I could probably kill this boss in what, like, 30 seconds? <laughs> well, the problem is, every certain percentage of health that you get down from him, he'll put up a shield and send a bunch of enemies at you. What's annoying is he actually starts the fight that way, but now we can actually start hurting him specifically. Yes! I like how he's commenting specifically in what we're doing. Yeah, he is. And one of you guys mentioned how weird it would be for- oh shit. Jesus. How weird it would be for an enemy to fill up more than one grid spot. This boss fills up a two by two square. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, Why does it have to be the last boss that gets that? Oh, no, Hubert's oh, almost gone again. I'm on my last pube, guys. I, w I would love, like, how there's a specific text for each action you have. It'd be also if it's like, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? You're a bear now? Ah, oh, damn it. Where's he going? He, he can't get me! Oh, he killed a boy. <laughs> Perfect. This boss is awesome. <laughs> he says, at half health. I barely felt that. Well, your dragon felt it. Don't you feel bad for him? It does seem like his attacks are very... Outside of his bite, his attacks are very... There's a lot of wind-up. <laughs> Arg! <laughs> oh, we're getting close. Can Arg. we make it before he puts his fucking shield up? Get him! Get him! Yeah! Yeah! I couldn't help but notice that the fireball wasn't the thing that killed him. Oh, oh, what was that? We're a team. Yeah, you see it now. You see it now? I see it. Okay. Also, you know, it did kind of help. It just wasn't yeah, sure. the last thing to hit him. All right, yeah, fine. It works on, on dragons so well, you know. There's the final power gem. Yeah! I know why it's balance. Because with all four of us chained together, and the fact that we have yet to trip, it just means we're the chosen ones. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now that we beat the final boss, now it's time to level up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a feast for Pubert. It's a celebratory level up. Let's just put a funnel in Pubert's mouth and dump the rest of the food in there. Just see what happens. Pubert. Pubert, pubert, pubert. Well, we're done. Dinner is on and in me. 
before you even finish that, you explode from all the food. Is that us? We don't look like that. I'm the tall one, clearly. Is this cutscene customized depending on who you chose? No. Oh, that'd be awesome. It would. Just a giant fat rat. <laughs> <laughs> Just barely keeping up and dragged behind. <laughs> well, we got ourselves free. That is us, right? That's supposed to be us? Yeah, that's supposed to be us. So we're making our way home. We got off the island. Who's piloting? Who set us free? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Moose to get fire. <laughs> but first. Oh. Wait, we forgot Pubert. Turn the ship around. Guys! <laughs> Who's this fourth guy? He's still alive. And he's sad. Oh. My only friends. You rats. <laughs> you feel fine. D -d 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 my bouncy cape will just go and cry. I had two other forms and didn't let me... So, spoiler alert, that wasn't the final boss. No! Next time, we'll actually get that final hidden fifth element of the universe, and then we'll see the hidden second ending. Ooh. Ah. Is it a little, was this, I guess I won't, you're going to answer by us watching it, but does the second ending feel a little bit more wrapped up than just having this guy show up and go, oh, drats? <laughs> it actually opens up more questions. Oh. Ooh. Damn. Honestly, the first ending feels more like we got marooned on an island. We found our way off. More conclusive in that way. And this one, it brings some interesting questions about the island itself. Why the fuck do we have this island anyway? That's the question I want answered. Well, that was wacky. Let's get the actual ending. Laying off pretty much everything else I collected that I don't need anymore. Ah, uh, yes, the Hall of Useless. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my museum of everything I'll never use. Um... The Hall of Useless. I like that. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Useless. Hi. <laughs> this is Jeff. Stick burst into flames. He's never done a good thing in his life, dickhole. Here's the final pedestal. As soon as you place it, trickster boss time. You piddly bastard. In the most exciting area possible. <laughs> he makes it more exciting. And he's kind of underwhelming, honestly. Yeah. He's almost already dead. Listen, your mutton chops are insulting me. Did, did he just get hit by, like, something that's in the hall? I just noticed how much damage that did. Oh, I thought that was, like, a spike. Like, he was, like, standing in front of it, and it just happened to hit him. Ow, damn it. God, that is a lot of damage. Holy, Holy shit. shit. <laughs> Put him in jail, quick! <laughs> so this is what he does. Ow. Thanks. <laughs> he'll get outside of the rooms that he's in, and he'll activate traps. This is the primary way he fucks us over. <laughs> I get hit by a fireball. You've been paralyzed. What? <laughs> paralyzed by burns. Melted off your hands. You know, Piddler, you pro God damn it, Jacob. You know, Piddler, <laughs> if, if you just kept what you were doing, you probably would have won. It's official now. Well, what the? Oh, oh. He's not the trickster. He's the Island Master. What a dick. So the Island Master is easily the hardest boss in the game. He splits into three people, each of which can do all of the attacks that you can do. And he's going to do them. That's kind of awesome. What's annoying is the real Island Master. He likes to put up a shield, and we need to constantly attack it in order to break it down and continue to fight him. His clones don't have a lot of health, but they'll still fuck you up. Do the clones get uh, revived in certain intervals, or can you just, like, leave one and he'll never make another clone? I think it depends more on the amount of damage you do to him, but it just seems at random points he'll just make more clones, no matter how many you've killed. See? Ah. Uh, so now there's four of them running around. Oh shit. So if he doesn't start killing them, he could fill the room with himself. Luckily, he doesn't seem to have much health. Well, that's more the damage he's doing, because he ha he does have a pretty good amount of health. Oh, uh, we're just we're just awesome. And look how much damage he's doing to us, too. Well, I guess you could say that we got piddled. See, here's the thing, though, Jacob. Piddler never existed. 
Well, <laughs> you seem to think the contrary, my friend. So what is that, like the Riddler's like lesser known cousin? Yep. Kind of. Cousin of Suckles. There's a trickster in the Flash is basically that. Like it, I'm calling it now. Get him, Bear. Buster Wolf. Berserker Barrage. Go, Bear Taint. Damn it. Oh, jeez. I'm back in time to get it in my face again. God, we're getting... Yeah. Oh. oh. Puber delivered the final blow. Yeah! <laughs> that was awesome. Jesus. <laughs> Master key. key. We get the master key, which opens every lock in the entire game, and it doesn't break. And we get the Island Master's Testament. Basically, he was just fucking with us. He wasn't actually being antagonistic to us because he's an asshole. Even though he was. It's because he has been here for so long that he wanted to find someone to take up the mantle for him. It was a training process. So now we're the Island Masters. No, you're staying <laughs> there. I imagine in this form, just Ogre Taint is completely uncontrollable, and this is hell for us, but Failure of a Son <laughs> keeps doing it because he thinks it's cool. It cracks me up. Oh, God. Well, it might be hell for you. Yeah, I'm immediately behind him. He can't reach me. You do get a bonus for getting a, of a complete outfit, right? No, we've been over this. Oh, oh, <laughs> because I saw it. I saw it starting to glow, so I I, I forgot. I'm sure. If that's a bonus to you, then yes, but no. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your new outfit because the only friends we have now are turtles and. Wow. Look to the left. Players of the first game will recognize that block. Well, that looks nothing like us. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be a bigger group of losers than that. That was Legend of Grimrock 2. What did you guys think of it? I thought it was really interesting. Like I said before, I could probably more successfully play a game of football against the New England Patriots by myself than be good at this game. But it's just, I really like the style of it. I love the... I, I, I just... Just this whole setup of the game. I really liked it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, it's just, I'm trying to imagine you actually playing football against the new adventures by yourself. Getting body slammed for over two hours. <laughs> and you're like, is this, I can do this better than Grim Rock do? <laughs> This is just the kind of game that I'm terrible at, but it's, I would happily watch this again. Well, I did like it. In fact, I actually kind of wanted to play for myself with my own, like, classes and builds of characters and stuff. I appreciate the some of the aspects of it. Like, I really do like the aesthetic of the settings and everything like that. Probably not really a, not really my taste of an RPG, but I could definitely see the appeal to the old school style of it. I used to play ones like that a long time ago. So I, I definitely think it's really good. Not my cup of tea, but I could see people that the way it's designed was really well designed. Yeah. I just wish maybe the puzzles were a little less vague. And I did kind of wish that I could actually get a good look at the characters because we had all this badass armor and badass weapons, but it was just like a like a normal swing. I kind of wanted to see more. <laughs> yeah, that would be neat. But, you know, it is a kind of old school dungeon crawler-esque uh, thing. It's, it's kind of like, um, what's that game that uh, From did that was a lot like that? I have no idea. The only From games I know by name have souls at the end. Right. It was the one they did before that. It was a first-person RPG that was just like that. And those oh. are pre pretty big hit in Japan. Kingsfield. Kingsfield, right. The Kingsfield series. So, I mean, there, there's definitely an appeal to it in that first-person view. It's just I, I wanted to see more. It seemed interesting. I wanted to see bug people and minotaurs fighting together and hating each other. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing in the desert? Uh... Mummy Party 2? So that second page in the book, you can actually translate that, and it tells you a super, super secret. On Steam, there is an achievement for this, but it's one of those that's hidden until you actually find it. This specific spot out in the desert, you need to dig three times. Oh, fuck that. And when you do that, 
Oh. Meet the final boss of Grimrock 1. Hi, final boss of Hello, there's his face. Uh, He's all rusted and dead. Uh, so, what does that tell you exactly? Uh, he's dead. Then we want to fall asleep in front of him, clearly. I wanted this sound in a better place. The final boss in the last game was a giant square. You have a big ass cube. Gotta say, uh, this this game's final boss is a bit more interesting. I like the idea of a dungeon creator because I was worried, like, this game doesn't really look like it has a whole lot of replay value. Au contraire, you can make your own custom campaigns because obviously everything's notes and stuff, so you can really make any campaign you want. And I'm sure a lot of there's a lot of very creative ones, so that made the game better for me. And on that note of feeling like this game doesn't have much replay value, I watched High Wang's LP of it. I bought the game, I played through it, and I pretty much immediately went into recording it for the LP. I will admit, this LP, I just sort of did it on a whim, so I'm really glad people took to it as much as they did. There wasn't any planning for it. I didn't ask anyone if they wanted to do it, but I really think this is the only game I've LP'd, at least the one off the top of my head, where as soon as I finished recording it, I wanted to go back and play it again. This game has a lot of replay value, if only because it's so well built. Yeah, replay value based on fun. Right. Plus, there is a lot of shit in this game. We just found it all. Right. I saw your playtime. It's 13 hours to find all that stuff. I'm sure if you're just doing a straight playthrough, it would take a lot less time than you can go back and find everything else on your own. It's a very good game. I highly recommend anyone who has Steam, anyone who's got a decent PC, like there's some frame rate issues. It's not fully 60 FPS all the time, but if you got a good computer, you got Steam, highly recommend checking it out. Occasionally, there will be a sale where you can get both Grimrocks for 10, 20 bucks. Money very well spent. Spread the word to your mothers and friends. For the return of pubert and friends. Yes. <laughs> or I will maybe kill my mother after I've killed my father. And that's where the story ends. <laughs> and Cricket Dazzler will be more OP. That's what you think. He's going to summon meteors. No, he won't. He, it's, it's over for him. And, and they explode. And they explode. You, you've been demoted. No jobs for you. That just makes him stronger. Motherfucker, do you really want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be Saitama class. Really, no. Not at all. <laughs> he just wants to be a psycho hero, Travis. You just gotta... I will become an arch villain, son of a bitch. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Don't kill your moms. Please don't. <laughs> no, we're not spreading this message. Jacob, why are you here? <laughs> I said don't kill your moms. And we're not spreading that message. What, to not kill your mom? To kill your mom. We'll do fucking there we go. All right. Just, just a daily reminder from Pubert. Legend of Grimrock 2 for the PC. Get it on Steam. It's great. Now, bye. You ruined this LP, Jacob. I know. <laughs> <laughs>